Like, where do you see the role of Songbird, uh, you know, five years out, 10 years out, like as the network really is mature? Like, will there still be a need for uh, the development network? So I think, uh, you know, the governance, so the governance aspect of Songbird is, is, is really, of Flare is really important. Songbird is the place that those changes are, um, are implemented first. And that's, you know, what we think Songbird will be used for. And there's no reason to think that Flare would ever stay necessarily, Flare as a network ever needs to stay static. You know, ten years is a, a, a ten years is a long time in life, but it's in crypto. It's I think it's all of time. Well, it is all of time in crypto right yeah. now. So um, you know, there's no particular reason why governance wouldn't be trying to optimize Flare continually over time. At which point, Songbird plays very much a, an important role in that. However, as as I said, I, I think earlier is that you know, Songbird can take its own path. It can do different things with the, the state connector. It can have a governance vote, and it can include different tokens uh, in, in the in the F asset mix. Um, it can you know, it can completely diverge from from that that canary network role if it wishes, up to the token holders, up to the developers that want to develop on Songbird.